I'm doing an interview for a really cool Australian magazine's website called Ramona and they were asking me some really interesting questions and I was like, hmm, I think these would make a pretty cool video actually. They asked, as somebody who is trying to raise awareness for asexuality, what do I wish more people understood about asexuality? And my wish is such a simple one. One thing that I really wish that people understood about asexuality is just that it's an option. And no, I don't mean it's an option in the sense that it's a choice. It's just that our society is really heteronormative. And that is improving in the sense that people are coming to terms with the fact that some people aren't heterosexual, some people are homosexual, some people are bisexual, some people are pansexual. But it's still kind of about the sexual. So if you're not sexual, where do you fit into the narrative? I also feel like our society is becoming increasingly hypersexualized. And that's partially because people are more sexually liberated nowadays. And don't get me wrong, that's a good thing. But I also think it's because industries have realized that sex really sells. And the more you emphasize it, the more money you're gonna make. And so they put these messages into the public sphere and the public feel like they have to kind of conform to these sexual standards and behaviors. In my humble opinion. In a society that's so focused on sex, I genuinely feel like people don't even compute that asexuality is a thing. I genuinely think that there are more asexual people out there than most would originally assume. They just don't know that asexuality is an option in a society that places so much emphasis on sexuality. I mean, the usual assumption is that there's something wrong with you. Like, you have some kind of personal issues and that feeds into your intimacy issues, but it's something that you should be able to overcome either with medication or by finding the right person. Like, all you need is that good D or that good V and all of your problems will go away. That is assuming that asexuality is a problem. And that's something that I really want to dispel. Asexual people don't have a problem. They're perfectly fine. You can be a complete person who has fulfilling interactions and relationships with other people without having sex. I'm about wanting to have sex and even without wanting to be romantically involved with somebody. You're not broken, you're not boring, you're not undesirable, and you're definitely not unnatural because you're asexual. Asexuality isn't this weird thing that happens to people who have been abused. It's not a, another way of saying that you're in the closet. It doesn't mean that you have some weird sexual thing and you just don't want to be open about it. And it's not because you're unattractive, it's not because you're undesirable, and it's not because you haven't been liberated. And asexuality is what it is. And asexual people are what they are. And it's not a problem, and it isn't the side effect of some kind of issue. And in a society where everything is about sex, being asexual is okay, and you can, you can just do that. <laughs> so yeah. That's what I wish more people understood about asexuality. And that signals the end of this public service announcement. <laughs> I will provide a link to my interview with Ramona. I will provide a link to my interview with Ramona when it's up. We don't just talk about asexuality. We talk about being an alternative black model. We talk about racism. We talk about sexism. We talk about a whole bunch of interesting stuff. So I'm going to link that in my Instagram when the interview's out. And hopefully you guys will be interested in checking it out. Thanks for watching. I have to go kill a spider now.